Hi everyone, my name is Claudia Caparelli and I'm here today to share with you some tips, some strategies. How can you improve your team's performance by using Brock? Um, before I get started, I'd like to invite you to write your name in the country where you are, you are right now. Uh, you'd be very thirsty to see where our viewers are uh, during this first global webinar. And just to, to prepare your, uh, yourself, uh, you, for our program, we organize the, the topics in four areas. In the first moment, we just talk a little how works this new digital uh, way of work, and we, we move it to explain how can you work, how can your teams work in this new environment, and then we show you how can you use Rock to elevate your team's performance. Uh, when you finish this first moment, which is these three topics, we just go for our 15 minutes of QA. Uh, it'll be a live session, then please. If you have questions, if you have doubts, you can just write in the chat. You no, know, our team here you, you try to answer some questions during the webinar. But at the same time, you can just talk with us after. I'd be very glad to to answer everything that should be possible and, and it'd be very interested to talk with you a little more. Then before uh, everything uh, starts, I'd like to ask you if you are prepared for the new digital way of work. And I'm not saying that is the digital only, but is this new way. Everything changed since the pandemic you know, arrived. Um, suddenly everyone uh, needed to move from the, their offices to their homes to work sometimes they move it even for different cities where they will be better know which their families because it will be necessary. And in this new, new digital way of work, uh, we do not have more space for doing the same than before. And why, why is more challenging than before? Because now we have too many apps. Um, everyone's work with so much information and all these, all these apps bring us for us a lot of dis disconnected data. And why this happens? Because even app try to keep it their, their own data inside of their platforms. What makes very hard for the teams get organized. It's, it's, it's so hard to get everything done when your data, your information is in so many different space. Rock comes to the market to bring some order to, do, to these calls because uh, we have an idea, you know? we, our solution brings on a way that you can connect everything inside of the platform. You can connect your message, your tasks, your notes, your documents. You can integrate the, the, the Rock to your main tools. And by doing this, you can have better results in the way that you manage your operation. And why these results happen? Because inside of Rock, we are allowing people uh, a new multi-model way of collaboration. In, in, in this new uh, model way of work, we are not only sending messages or just uh, managing tasks. We are connecting uh, the tasks which our uh, conversations daily, day by day. And this brings a powerful way to solve, you know, our business operations and our team's uh, challenges in the, the day by day. But I understand the challenge, no? Uh, I understand that is, is everyone now is not more in the only one, only one workplace. We are mixing everything. We talk so much about this new hybrid environment in where I can be remotely working, I can be inside of the office work, but the information is always in, on, in, inside of only one place. Uh, some people ask me, but really, Claudia, what Rock is about? Rock is like a Teams, Rock is like a Slack. Um, I, I feel, I feel some, sometimes not sure what she's about. And it's, when, I, when I try to explain that Rock is better, it's because it's uh, the way that she, the, the solution was developed. It's so easy to get started. It's so intuitive to understand how to use everything. 
and you can connect. You can stop doing so many meetings or send too much, you know, so many emails for people. You can uh, really uh, have all information about the tasks that you need to perform, or you can have all, all conversation, all information about one specific topic that your team are discussing. You can have all information, all data about how one project, you know, how one sprint was managed and how many people are involved. And this is it's, it's how I see how powerful can be rock in this new uh, digital way of work. And if you'd like to work in the, the better way, if you'd like to improve uh, productivity in our team, we need to, to change some things. And, and to start the change, communication is the key. And why communication is the key? Because when you are talking to people, when, when you are writing down what people want to do, it's, it's where you start uh, creating the better way of developing something. However, having a good communication is not enough. You need to know how to communicate and, and, and why this is the secret. Why, how to communicate is so important. Because if you write um, just one, one paragraph to explain to someone how they must to perform their, perform their work, and this person does not understand what you'd like to, to say about it, no? This person will probably uh, email you, call you, sometimes they will schedule a meeting uh, just for you to explain uh, how they can deliver that specific task in the better way, no? How they can deliver that to be accepted. Uh, then if, but if you write the same, uh, in the same area, one, you know, like better, uh, one better information that people can understand easier the first time, you reduce the number of uh, interactions that this person, you need to have during their, their work. And that means two things. You can save time, your time, that is uh, when you are just asking people to do something. And at the same time, the, the, the worker, the, the person know that she's working there to deliver that specific job, they will feel the same. They don't, they don't need to be bother you so much. They can understand by, by themselves what they must do. Then it is why the way that you communicate, it's very important that the way that you communicate can change everything. And now we get in the moment um that you need to think okay i understood the challenge i understand how rock can help me uh, but how can i start using rock in my operation um then i i would just say to you that let's start it a little more simple uh, and how how each works no what it means about starting simple don't try to create when you implement a new tool in your company or in your team, no? Because sometimes you are not uh, implementing Rock in the, your whole operation. You are sometimes starting by using Rock in one specific area of your company. Then to start well, to make it, to, 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 for you having better results, the idea is not looking for complex uh, process. Let's try by writing an uh, easy way to deliver things first. Then, how is the first step? The first step for you uh, writing your workflow inside, the, inside of the platform is by defining a goal. Then, some examples of a goal will be like, I would like to start in, uh, organizing my market team inside of the rock. I have so many freelancers that I need always uh, to share always the same information. Then you can think which is, uh, which would be the, the, the best workflow for that specific uh, workers, no, that specific freelancers? Um, which step-by-step step do you need? For example, uh, when you open a task, the first part of the task would be like to do. But when people just start doing the task, maybe the second step you'd be like doing, then you know that the task that you send for your team, your team members, just move it from something that she was in backlog for the next moment that she's they are working on it. And the, the, the third step could be like, 
uh, ready to approve, ready to review. That is, okay, I finished my, my task. Can you uh, just see if everything is good? And then after uh, this goal for this new moment, you know, this new list of tasks, then it's a moment for me who requested the task to go there and say, okay, it's approved. It's ready to be launched. It is ready to be uh, used, no? And then finally, when I pass it for these uh, four steps, no, like to do, doing, ready to review, and then finally, uh, ready to launch, I can just finish it and then it's done. I, I just give you one very easy example. How can you write one workflow that has uh, five steps, no, five moments, in which you start your one task and you finish that task. But it's one one very and very very important way for um, you have success in any uh, process, no, of digital transformation or or process change, is you must bring it, the people together. You must involve people in the process. Uh, when we look for companies that they have very good success. Uh, in their changing process in, the, in their operations, which the same companies that started at the same time but do not have so much success. What we see, um, what was the most reason normally is because the people was not engaged with the results of that, uh, that of that change. They did not understand why changing the way that you are doing things before does not work more. Then engaging people in the process. Uh, make them understand why that new tool or what that new process or why uh, this new way to, to, to do things now, you make their life better, you improve the way that they're working and you, you, you bring it for them more time to be focused in doing what's necessary, not losing time by trying to find information everywhere. Then if you do not have your team together, it'd be very hard for you to do anything your company. But at the same time, if you are able to engage um, your teams in the in the plans of your company, you have a strong team, which means you have a very strong company. The third part, it's you, you wrote a process, you brought your team together, uh, but you need to be prepared that sometimes when you start using the workflow that you developed, uh, sometimes can be something wrong, something can get, you know, uh, the results can be not like perfect. Then if you adopt uh, this more flexible approach, that is test, learn, and then if you need to, to review and change, just do it and it's fine. Uh, you, you have uh, more um, flexibility to change things in your company and you bring for your team a feeling that sometimes it's okay to make mistakes because we are trying to do something better. And by trying to do something better, by innovating in some way, sometimes we need to be prepared that something can be wrong. And then you just come back a little, write again down uh, what must be changed, for example, you just start over. And, 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 this, and this flexibility, this way of doing things in more uh, natural way, you help your company, you help your uh, teams and, and everyone that's working with you to be more like uh, trusting themselves, that they believe more in, in the process, they believe more that they can, you know, even as a, a worker, do things better for your company. And then I think the last part that's very important to, in the process of engagement, in the process of changing, it's Celebrate the small wins with your team. And what it means, uh, it's sometimes when you are changing, it's so much stress uh, for people to get used to because our natural behavior as a woman, no, we do not like to change. We like to still doing the things in the way that we did before. It's so much easier. We still using our tools in where I was comfy and safe uh, than changing for something new that the most part of the time bring for me uh, some hard moments to get adapted. Then if you create one, one way to celebrate with the members, um, even the, mo the, the, the small wins as a team, you create a more sense of group 
and this sense of group, you 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 make them work better between them. Other very good uh, results of celebrating things is because you improve the, the the desire of the members to keep doing a very and great job because they they feel that if they do something even better. Uh, they will be accepted inside of the, the group. Then celebrate, celebrating something that's always pretty good, but even better when you implement something new. And when we, we, we just wrote everything, you know? we just understood how to uh, create some steps and what is important in the process of changing. But now it's time for really understanding the features that you have inside of the rock and, and how these features can help our teams to grow in their performance. I, I, um, the, the first, uh, what I heard more when I asked our customers why they changed for rock and why they feel that rocks is, uh, is a, a changed life in their, in their daily, in their daily uh, activities. And what I, I hear from them the most part is, Claudia, I found finally one one solution that brings tasks and message together and is so easy to use i think this is what this rock is about you know it's, it's it's trying to make simple it's trying to make easier it's trying to make more uh intuitive for everyone that just signing and just starting uh using it um to, to use in the right way then connecting tasks messaging is just i start for improve your performance, but this is not enough. We have um, the possibility of creating tasks, import tasks. We have now the opportunity to import tasks from Trello, uh, ClickUp, Asana, Jira, and then you can just take a decision what's better for you. Just create from scratch, just important for the old, old tools. And it's so uh, nice because you can organize the way that you view your tasks by list or by cards, what is better for you in, in your individual view does not impact in the, the other no group's view. Um, one, one tip, one uh, feature that I'm using a lot is the set aside. I don't know if you are using, I was not using uh, some months ago, I just started recently. And after I started using set aside, I gained even more productivity because sometimes I, I have my, you know, my task is a space and I always look there what I need to do, what I need to deliver. But sometimes I need to pay more attention in specific uh, uh, messages or in specific tests or in specific notes that I need to remember after that be useful. Then when I set aside, it's, I know it's like my, my brain's already used to it. I know that this is very important. You, be, you can be important for now, it can be important in the future, but for me, it, it works very well. Then if you're not using, try to use it because it's so, so easy. In the, in the notes, uh, we have a great opportunity to bring some one space uh, in where in, in you can just write uh, what you need to always remember, or you can always come back there to use again. Um, well, if I'd like to, if I could, you know, share it to one good way for using notes, I would say use notes, for example, for writing uh, rules of your space to explain people. Oh, you get inside of this workspace. What this workspace is about? How how we work in this space? How you communicate better in this space? Or you can use notes, for example, to to create one library of links. I I use it to, it to the same. And this why this is is good because. Sometimes you need just one space in which you can write uh, and, and make easy for everyone to understand what is that about. The notes is, is for this. Other very thing, uh, one other way to use notes, and I use this in my own space, is to remember things that I need to do. And then just after I finish, I just, you know, erasing those again. It works very well. Um, topics. Topics is something new. And we are seeing our users uh, you know, growing exponentially uh, by using uh, and by creating new topics, by discussion inside of this space. And why I think top, topics is a, a change moment inside of the rock is because they, they bring to us an opportunity 
uh, for work with many people inside of one large gym sometimes uh, and discussing uh, some specific or some complex idea in a separate space that is available for everyone that's inside of the space, but it's not messing up the message in, inside of the group if the others are not necessary to discuss something. Then um, topic is it's being uh, very useful. If you need to do brainstorms, if you need to talk about one specific topic, if you need to just you know have a separate space for for talk to some part of the people, then if you are not using it, I recommend you will like and it's it's very easy to do. And you can create a topic or a task or a note now just by typing, organizing everything, and and every day is getting easier. The I um if you are working more like me, more like changing uh, countries, changing places, uh, or or just change spaces where you are working, um, I believe that the the ability, the the flexibility of you have the rock in your smartphone or even your desktop, or even in the web world, you know, it's uh, it's making available for your for you your space of work always. Then uh, I use the balls, I love a lot and, and have this, uh, uh, this this opportunity for, you know, using my, my work where I am, but at the same time, sometimes I just need to block, put your mute and say, okay, now it's is, is a time for me uh, be focused to deliver something and then work the same. It's, it's, it's this power. I manage my work. I manage the way that I'm working. And this is something that uh, I'm not seeing already in any other place. And finally, um, it's when when I saw Rock and when I was looking for one, you know, one solution that could bring for, for me um, one way to bring everyone and does not increase so much the costs for my company by connect everyone that I need inside of my tasks. Uh, when I found finally one solution as Rock that I could invite everyone, I could con I could connect everyone and not pay more for it, for it. I just saw say, oh, this will solve everything because finally uh, we are able to to bring for our teams to bring for our uh, space, our digital spaces, everyone that we need to make our work done. Then, then this was like uh, a work, a life changing. You no, know? it's it, it brought so much more uh, opportunities for us to develop our work as a company much better. Uh, then, rock is not only for you. But it's 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 made for everyone um, and for all organizations. And how the product was developed is in the way that you can create different uh, areas, different workflows inside of the same uh, platform of work. Then here's it's just one example. No, how uh, we have like a product development team, which a market campaign team. And they, they have their own space inside of the rock, but at the same time, they can share people between their space and, and share tasks between their space. And it's, it's very easy easy to, to do, and, and it's very useful for everyone. Uh, to finish our last part of the presentation, no? it's now it's time just to 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 have some some now, now it's much more how you set up. Uh, rock for you having the, the best of the benefits of it and then how to implement the process of start to work in the platform and then engage your teams to 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 use it in the in their their daily activities no and i just you give in the end one view about uh how you get more by using pro or teams plan for example so, Different, the, the first step you know, for set up your workflow, we just talked a little about this before, but always remember, different areas, different workflows, don't try sometimes create the same list of uh, the same process for all your space because sometimes it does not work very well. Just think about uh, how is the process of delivery for each space and then you create your list uh, in the separate way. Second tip that's very interesting, it's, uh, the documentation it's it's almost secret you you need 
uh, improve the way that you make it easy for people to understand how they must work. Then one tip that I'd like to give it to you is if you are just starting using Rock, or even if you are already using Rock, if you can use notes, for example, to write uh, some rules, how people can uh, perform in their space, this can help and save a lot of time. Then one tip that I could give it to you to improve collaboration inside of your team, it's creating spaces to, to explain how the workspace works. Finally, um, you, you can have an amazing tool, but if you do not set up your, your tool properly, maybe you miss some, some things. Then uh, today I just talk about two uh, setups. I'm not going in all because I think that this you know, gets very long. It is not the goal for today. It's, it's only to give an idea about how can you uh, improve the way that your team is working together. Then set up in the way that the tool is prepared for you. It's very important. Then in my profile, just make sure that um, everything there it's you know it's filled. I don't know if you put your phone number yet because I'm thinking you, but I would suggest you, uh, you can write your phone number there uh, and use even better the, the the tools and it make it easier for people to connect with you if they need just do a call sometimes and ask something. The second is notifications. I think this is the the main, the main what can give it to you even more productivity if you set the, your notifications in the right way. What I mean by this is uh, Rock gives you some many, many uh, ways that you can receive notifications. And you can receive mainly by mail, you, you can receive mainly by system, you can receive uh, the notifications by both. Um, just make sure that you set up your notifications panel in the right way. When you are going for the QA section, I will be with the Rock open and I'll be able to show uh, how everything you work. But just remember, uh, notifications will make uh, easier or harder for you to understand, to be updated, what you, uh, you need to do or even what your team is doing, then please, if you can ju just go there in the notifications out of your, your office to see if everything is working very well for you, it's a very uh, good step for, for finishing all your setup of your uh, work tool for your daily activities. Then the second, the second step, the second moment for starting work inside of the rock, it's organize your space of work. And what that means, you create your space, you create your tasks, and then you can just now try to organize the way that you can find things easily. Uh, now we have like a, a search. You can, you know, usually write the, the 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 name of the space that you remember, and they'll bring it to you everything that's there. And the search works for tasks, notes, uh, files, you know, uh, sometimes inside of the, the space too. Um, but use it, for example, the folders part to create um, more organization. So separate, for example, one by one spaces or marketing spaces or project spaces, for example. The, the, the folders uh, feature helps you just to find easily the spaces that are important for you or they are connected to some specific goal of your company. That folder is very nice. Other, other uh, feature that I use a lot is the pin. I normally pin the spaces that I'm always going in to make easier for me just uh, in the first area, in the narrow here, the, the, the top of my, my screen. I can easily find uh, the, the space that I need to go with more, you know, more frequency. And bring everyone together is the moment uh, in which I just make you uh, rock as an official way of communication. And, and this, I, I, I could say for you, that is one of the most important moments. Um, before, when you are writing the process and you organize it, everything by explaining people why uh, the new tool or the new process will be implemented. Uh, but after you finish this, after our team is working, it's time for you bring everyone that you need uh, to participate of the delivery of the activities. And when I say about everyone, um, some people just ask me, Claudia, but how can I bring everyone here? Um, it, how can I ask my client? You know, the freelancers ask a lot for me this. How can I bring my client inside of the platform? They have their own tools. Normally, me, you no, know, as as a deliverer of work, a, a person that is being hired for for some service, 
I always adapt me to their tool. And I totally understand. I believe that you know you, you must to, to evaluate what is better, uh, which risks you have by always taking decisions that involve your clients. Um, but one thing that I, uh, I I was talking a lot with many startups, with many companies is uh, the way that you deliver the services, the way that you organize your process, your operation counts a lot in the valuation that your clients have about you. Uh, if you, you are, for example, competing in the market with the other two or three companies, no other two or three providers uh, for one specific project, and you show for this your pros, pro, prospect, you know, your, your leader, potential client, that you have uh, a process established, that you have one tool, and it's so easy for them to know everything that's happened, that you have they you have all information available every time, even for people that gets after, no? Because when you get inside of one space on rock, you do not have only the information uh, at this moment after. You have all information that was there before. Then you can you can show your client how powerful is your process, because you are the owner of your space. The, the, Rock is there to make it available for you uh, to bring everyone. But who is responsible for everything that's there is your team, is yourself. It's, it's, it's you as a, a, no, a, a manager of that specific area. Then what I can say to you is as a client who hired many people in the past, when I was looking for freelancers, when I was looking for service providers in general, no, even for some company that you provide more than just more than just one service. Someone that you like to do like almost a partnership. What I, I was always looking was how they you deliver that for me. May I trust them, uh, or I will have a problems after I hire them? Then uh, one advice, one tip, just you know, uh, try. Just create one onboarding process for your next client. Just show them how you work. And I'd be very glad if you, you can write me uh, anytime and say, oh, Claudia, I, I, I had these results or not. This is it's something that works very well. And I would be very uh, happy you know, to see if it, you can use a Disney key and if it is cheap can help you to even bring more clients for your company. And how I engage people, how I invite people, we can just use in the old way that's like writing the emails down and just invite, you know, by adding the in the space, in the sets of the space, or you can just copy the link and you can just invite uh, the new users as a member or as a guest, depending the level of, uh, of collaboration that you, they, you have inside of the, your space. Uh, but it's, very, it's so easy. It's very easy to invite people and bring people uh, inside of the team. And then other uh, tip that I'll give it to you is try to connect everything that's possible inside of Rock. Uh, we have there some spaces uh, for connections, no, for integrations. Um, the file space, the file mini app that's inside of your space of work, uh, you have already many, many folders, cloud folders that you can connect. Uh, we have additional, additional to it. We have now GitHub and the opportunity to, zap, to, to connect with the Zapier account. Then if you are you are using one of these tools, I would suggest you connect with your rock to make it easier to access everything just inside of one space. Is the idea of you you having like one hub of work? Then uh, this is you know great and very useful. And finally, uh, get your teams engaged. Get your teams uh, working together. And why I'm saying this to you? It's because we have so amazing uh, ways you know, to, to make our teams like working as a very strong group. And what I like more about uh, this is uh, we can, you, you can improve the way that you're communicating by using, you know, like emojis. I like a lot. I like to want some time to thumbs up or just, you know, a big smile when I see something that's pretty good or just laughing when someone of the team share uh, something fun. Uh, but I think this, the, the great about the, the bringing more uh, emojis to our daily 
is to remember us always that we're not like machines. We're just people. We have feelings. And, and sometimes just one image say much more than, than many words. Uh, other thing that's uh, a very interesting way to involve people is by, is, is by using pools. Because in the pools, you can just quickly to set up or try to set up one, uh, one party or, or just to take a decision about what time is better for a meeting without being wait for people once and then after going back there and see, oh, how many people want to 8 p.m. or 10 p.m. You just create that in one pool and people answer. It's, it's very easy way to communicate and to ask things that you need to understand what's better inside of decision making. Uh, and of course, you no know, chats and talks are like the amazing way to get everyone involved. Then I would suggest you uh, try to use as a mainly way of co communication. It's by using Rock as your chatting um, or more complex the conversation topics. Uh, now that we just finish everything, um, some people are asking me, you know, Cloud, but uh, I'm using the free plan uh, a long time, but I would like to improve the way that you are working. Um, how, how, can you, how can I take a decision? What is better for me? Should I go for the pro plan? Should I go for the team's plan? Um, how works? How how are the main differences? No, uh, the pro plan, you no, know, this professional plan. Uh, it, they 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 look for bring to you uh, more. It, it, they try to reduce uh, the time loss or, or, or try to reduce the 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 needs that you have for doing the same task or create the same task over and over again. And when you move from the free to the pro plan. What you're doing is uh, being able to add custom fields, you can add recurrent tasks, you can add integrations, and share, start sharing a, a bigger, a little bigger files. No, you you in the, the free plan can share, I think, uh, 10 megabytes per per document, and the in the pro plan you can you can share five times uh, larger uh, files. No? then this brings you more flexibility, more power in your operation. And if your team is working with sprints in the, in the agile methodology, for example, um, when you migrate for the pro plan, you have the sprints available. Then what is the main difference for the pro plan, for the team's plan? In the team's plan, we are looking for controlling your company uh, and your employees. When you start to have a, uh, a large number of users, you need to start to, to manage that users. Uh, you need to, to control if people get in or get out of the company. You need to be able like to pause them or just remove them inside of your uh, space, you know, in your company. Then when you migrate for the team's plan, we start having more powerful uh, uh, possibilities of managing people. Then you have you do not you do not pay by users. You pay by managers, no, because it's, you are giving power for some people to manage your your domain uh, for you. This is the the main difference between uh, the two plans. I just pass very quickly um, in some no areas that we, when we talk with users, they have they they have some doubts about oh where can I add the custom field? Then in, when you click in the tasks. In, in clicking the tasks fields, you just see all fields that are there already, or you just can add a custom field here and choose if you would like uh, one, one, one field which test or which number, or just a drop uh, down list, you know, that's for people choosing something. Then uh, this is where, the, this is why I explain it, because some people have, they have these main questions. Um, here, just to, to show you, that inside of the, the pro plan, you have 50 megabytes to share for each new attachment. Um, what I like more when I was using the free plan and making me to change when I took the decision uh, for migrate, for example, my company in the past from the free plan for the pro, the, the pro plan. I did this because uh, I would like to reduce the time loss by uh, duplicate over and over the same tasks. Because in the free plan, you can just go there, click in the three buttons and duplicate the task. This is, you, can, you, you always will be able to do. 
But when you migrate for the proplet, you can just uh, create a recurrence task by clicking here. And this will be available only uh, when you are pro. If you're, if you're not pro, you'll not be able to, to click. But when you finally uh, migrate your plan, you click here and be able to repeat this task in the in the recurrence that is uh, better for you. We had weekly, annually, daily, for example. You can dec decide which day of the week, for example. And then you took a decision in which list you that task be open when finally they create by itself. Uh, what I believe that is a process, a operation of changing for uh, consulting person, service providers, um, clients onboarding, um, sometimes for uh, onboard of new uh, um, members in the team, for example, is the, the possibility of duplicating space. And why I like this uh, so much is because uh, you can create one template for your company and we call like your main template. Imagine that you create, I, I'll give you one, one example that you work with a lot. You are a freelancer, you are a consulting person and you normally, you have like three, four, five steps for each new client when they start in, uh, working with you. Then let's imagine that these steps you'll be like, uh, we have one form, is uh, that this company must to feel every time that they start a new job with you because uh, they must answer some questions that you help you to understand and to even to write your proposal, uh, your commercial proposal for them. And then after you pass this step and you send to them the proposal, you have one other step, no? That's signing one agreement. And then you have one other step that is set up in the onboard meeting. That is the moment in which you start to work with them and then you need to explain how you work your uh, communication, how you how you deliver the services in, in which uh, range of time. And when you finally understand that this process is something that is always equal or is almost always equal, you can just create one big template and then this template, should be, I, I suggest do not write anything that's not necessary there because you can uh, just use it over and over. Then you create this template and say, okay, I have a new client. And then just go there in this template, click duplicate space. Or if you see here, you have the option, you no know, to enable duplicate task and duplicate notes. Uh, you can just duplicate only tasks or just duplicate only notes. I always, in my spaces, I, I duplicate the both because it's, it's very easier to do. And then when you do this, you create one space with your new client and everything's prepared for them. You don't need to, again, uh, open the space, invite the users, and after creating the tasks. Everything can be like automatically. Then this is great. And this reduces a lot of time loss uh, for you and for your team. Uh, automations. The automations is something that's bringing the, the teams that are more related for IT services or uh, software developers, for example, some market companies, because they have already, uh, they are using already, you know, Zapier or uh, GitHub for manager their activities, no? And then uh, this possibility of integration and automating things reduces even uh, the rework and make easier for you bring other teams inside of the rock and connecting uh, in the better way because they do not change so much the, way, the, way, the old way that they are doing that you are working very well. And finally, uh, how uh, you improve the way that you are working by using and managing your sprints and teams is by using you know, uh, the sprints area in which you can create, uh, you know, just write down uh, your sprints and, and after you'll be able to see inside of the calendar, how is the timeline of everything that you must deliver and just filter, if you'd like to filter all tasks that are related for one specific uh, sprint is so easy inside of the, the tasks area. And in the teams, if you are not pro only, but you are you are having teams uh, plan too, you can see that you'll be able to assign managers and you'll be able to manage uh, users, no, by suspend them or by remove them from your company. And this is, this uh, it's very important even when someone leave you no know, leave the company and you just need to easily to remove them from the, the space 
this is a, a, a very important thing that you can do that make easier for you be sure that uh, he has no more access person has no more access of everything and if you are here with me uh, until now um why 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 rock is changing the way that we work why why rock is is bringing you know this possibility of us to to improve uh the way that you communicate and the way that you work in a more organized way is because we are bringing all together to one space uh but we are not here no uh we just develop we develop the the solution uh because we just want to make your company better we want that you as you no know, as an individual that is using uh improve a lot your individual performance and by everyone improving and working inside of the rock we you wish you no know, and we expect that all teams you improve their own performance and they will grow even more then thank you so much if you are here with us uh until now i would like to invite you at the moment uh to to go for our uh, other link you'll be available here in youtube and then we start our qa uh, moment and be free to ask what is uh, what you need to ask about it and thank you so much for for being here with us no we covered uh, everything already in the first few parts, and now we're just starting our QA live section. Thank you. Um, I hope that you like it, and we will launch soon the next two chapters of the series of the educational program with Rock. I'm very happy for being here. Uh, see you in the QA. Bye bye.